the next question is a multiple choice question type. So I think every one of you knows what a multiple choice question type is. Just click on the question and you'll start adding your question. So we have indicate what's right, the animal center and so on. So I added a video first, students have to watch it and they have to enter my questions. Here I'm going to enter the right answers or just the possible answers right away. Important to know is to indicate the right answer. So Book Widgets knows what the right answer is. So this question type can be automatically created. When you scroll down, you have a few other options. So you can um, indicate, enable this option that all the different kinds of answers are randomized for each student. You can also give it a multi-column layout. Let's take a look how this looks like without a multi-column layout. You can always go to preview to watch how this question looks like. We have the question, we have the multiple choice answers, and students have to indicate one, or one answer. You can go back, and if you enable this option right here, you will see that it's now in a multi-column layout, like this. So if you have lots of different answer options, a multi-column layout will do better because otherwise you have a long list of answers and it will take your entire screen. Below every single question type, you have other options as well. You can add an explanation why this is the right answer. You can add a hint audio to give more instructions or even to add um, a listening exercise to this kind of question type. Then you can add an image to spice things up and you can add numbering and scoring options. The scoring options are really important to give a point a scoring weight to your question. So this question would be on two points if I indicate it this way. Again, this looks like this and we are done.